Hey guys, what's up? It's uh, Hobbit Assassin 08 here, and I know, uh, like I always say, is I've haven't had a video in a while, but uh, honestly, I've decided that I need to get back into the YouTube thing. I can't allow my viewers down. So uh, here, as you can see, I have ordered 300 feet of paracord uh, right after I made my first uh, couple paracord videos, uh, which were pretty big hits with uh, viewers. Uh, I ran out of paracord because I had about 50 feet, so. Here, as you can see, I have 300 feet. I have red, white, and then I ordered black, but there was a mistake in the order, and I ended up with green with black flex. But it's all right. I'm, I can live with it. Um, but anyways, this video that I'm going to, uh, this tutorial, is on how to make the, uh, the river bar design, which is uh, right here on this bracelet. Um, my first video was on how to make the cobra design uh... and it seemed to be a pretty big hit with everyone um, i'll have a link to it in the description down there um, but it's fairly simple um, beginner uh, i'll be coming out with a video showing you how to make the king cobra knot which is not very di much uh... different from this it's just a little bit added to it um, but if you wanted to check that out like i said there's a link down there or on my videos page uh, it should be there but this is the one we're focusing on today. So this is the river bar. And uh, before we start that, um, I'd like to just share a couple tips with you. Make sure we have all the essentials before we move into uh, actually showing you how to make it. So first off, I'd recommend uh, a pair of decently sharp scissors. Um, you can use a knife, but I wouldn't recommend it because uh, when you cut, you cut your paracord, uh, there's an inner core. And so if you're using a knife, and you pull with it, you can pull the core out a little bit, which just makes it difficult, and you're going to have to cut that off anyways, which then if you pull, you know, this much inner core out, and you need it down to here, cutting that with a knife isn't very easy. So I'd recommend a pair of nice sharp scissors. Also, it's necessary that you're going to need a, uh, a Bic or whatever lighter. Zippo works fine. I used that in my first video. Uh, this is just what I have around. You're going to need that. Uh, and it's recommended, uh, it makes it a lot easier if you have uh, carabiners like I have here. Um, basically what these are for is uh, you can hook them onto something and the some of the uh, designs of the paracord uh, require that you have them wrapped around something like a pencil. Well what this does is you secure it to something, you make sure it has a lot of tension and then for example this design, uh, I don't know if I show you how to make it but if not I'll go ahead and have a video up here soon but this part wraps around the carabiner and instead of like getting stuck you just slide it right off when you're done makes it extremely simple so I'd recommend these um, and then the other two things that like I said if I don't have tutorials on uh, I know I don't have a tutorial on this which is the monkey ball key, or monkey fist keychain with like noose I don't know well I'll have a technical name for it in the video but that's basically uh, what I wear on my keys and then this I wear one um, but here's one in black and they're just fairly simple ways but uh, now uh, I've showed you what's going on I'm, we're gonna go ahead and move into uh, start making the bracelet so I think I'm gonna use uh, red and white uh, just like this one so uh, yeah Alright guys, we're back here, and we just finished the introduction portion of the video, where I showed you the basic essentials of what you need to make the paracord, the scissors, the uh, lighter, as well as uh, some tips like the carabiner and whatnot. Uh, but basically, this is the tutorial section of the video where I will be showing you how to actually make the bracelet. And the one that we're doing today is this one, which is known as the river bar, or sinnet, or knot, tie, whatever you want to call it. But basically what it gives you is this uh, very cool alternating uh, design where if you use two du dual tone colors, you basically just get, you know, white, red, white, red, white, red. And it turns out pretty cool. Holds about 10 feet of paracord total. So we're going to set that off to the side and pull this off to the side. Now what we have here is paracord. So you're going to need two strands of paracord and each strand of paracord is going to need to be about five feet and five and a half feet. Make sure both strands are the same size basically and as long as they're about five feet you should be good to go. And uh, I already have some pre-cut for us so I'm going to go ahead and throw this off as well. We're going to go ahead and uh, bring out the uh, 
other paracord. So here I have a, a white strand and a red strand. And once you have your five foot strands, you're going to want to fold them over in half and grab them at the halfway point and make a loop like so. Uh, you're just grabbing them, pinching them. Pretty easy to do. And our first step here to make the bracelet is we're just going to take the one side. We'll go with the right for this. Slide it through here. And then basically, as if you were, uh, I don't know, I don't know how to explain it. Just bring it through like so. All right. So this is what you're going to get. So you see, it's tied through itself. Now all we're going to do is we're just going to bring it down like so. And pull the white through. So now what we've got is a piece that goes around and then comes back through to the middle. So let's leave about an inch there at the top and try to tighten this down a little bit. It's always good to have it nice and tight gives you more paracord in there and it looks a lot cleaner a lot nicer so but don't stress too much if it's difficult for you because the second knot you'll be able to adjust it and it'll be uh, real nice so you should have this now that we're done which basically like you see is uh, just two red hanging down the middle and then with two white on the outside and now to begin the actual pattern what we're going to do is we're going to take the outside we're going to take this right one first we're going to just go over, or pardon me, we're going to go inside, out, and then back around. So basically you're just going one complete turn around the entire loop, whatever you want to call it. Same thing, you're just going to bring the other one in, you're going to bring it out, and you're going to bring it around. Alright, so this is what you should have right now. I don't know if you can see that. Alright, and then we're just going to take this side, and right here where the white strand comes down and the red one crosses over, we're going to take the one on the left side that you brought over, and we're going to string it through. And then we're going to do the same thing. The right side, and string it through right there. Sorry if I get off screen a little bit. This is just I'm bent over in a chair, so this is just kind of hurting my back. And all right, so now this is where you'll get to adjust it and make sure it's all nice and tight. Just work it around a little bit to where you feel like it's good. Pull these up a little bit, tighten them. I'll show you this here in a second. What you should have once you've done tightened it all. Alright, so now that I've tightened it all, this is basically what you should have. You should have two red pieces down, one piece across, then it looks like they swoop out. With the white one's now on the outside and the red one's on the inside. So, now for the next step, fairly simple. We're just going to take the red, wrap it around to the outside. Alright. Hold on, give me a second. When you're working with uh, long strands of paracord, sometimes it's a little difficult. And basically, we're going to do the exact same thing now that we have them on the outside. We're just going to take, wrap it around the back, go through this little hole. Alright, set that there. And then take this one. And bring it through here. Um, there we go. So it's basically the same thing again. We're just going to tighten that up. Pull on these white strands a bit. Uh, okay. Just try to make it look as clean as possible and everything should turn out okay. So then once again you're back you just basically keep repeating this process and uh, you should be good so again what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take every time you alternate basically what you're gonna wanna do is see we had the red ones here and now it's the white you're gonna want it to splay out in the middle so as long as you're not like spreading it apart it should be good which basically like this 
you should be good as long as you've got that basic form in there and it comes around and ties and, I mean you can't there is times you can mess up uh, like you actually take the red and thread it through all that will basically do is it'll look a little bit odd and it'll just leave double reds I wouldn't recommend it because it really honestly I don't think it makes it look any better it looks pretty bad if you ask me but basically you just keep doing this all the way down and obviously this is going to take a little bit so I'm going to uh, go ahead and pause the video and I'll be right back at you whenever I uh, am almost done so once again just make sure it's all nice and clean just like so and so you should start getting this basic alternating pattern coming out which will match the other one all right so be right back all right uh, we're back now and I've wove all the way down the bracelet here you can see here's the front side so I have now yeah, like I'll do one more just so I can keep the connecting piece the same color so round back through there round back through there pull make sure it's nice and tight alright so uh, there we have it as you can see this one's longer than that one but this one's mostly uh, not this one's pretty much going to be all uh, braid oh, pardon me here I'm trying to make sure it's the right size yep alright we're good so basically to finish her off completely what we're going to do is we're just going to take our scissors and these two pieces that come out the side we don't need those at all so snip them not as close as possible but leave about eh, that much left okay so let's do the other side too pardon the shadow I'm casting on this alright so now what we're left with is two stubs and then a long white piece coming out so we're just going to take our lighter we're going to we're just going to uh, burn down the pieces pardon the people in the background alright so we're here. Alright, so we're just going to do that. Melt those down, make sure they're good and secure in there. So, let me just get that a little bit better. Right, smash it down. And now we're just going to take the white. We're going to tie a little knot. Okay. Just going to... So now I got a knot there. Make sure we're good. Alright, it looks pretty good. So we're going to go ahead and cut both of those. Just like that. So we're just going to melt this last part smash it down and there you have it we have a uh, finished river bar there you go there's the one from earlier um, if you need a better tutorial just let me know and I'll work on it Sorry for the people in the background and uh, anything else. Uh, this has been Hobbit Assassin 08. Uh, thanks for watching.